All right, so touching on the issue I'm having with the maps that we're reading, pretty much um, every I checked everything in the engine bay, we replaced the map sensor, the um, intake air sensor, map sensor, um, coolant temp sensor, and the vacuum lines. So I noticed that the wiring for the ECU was a little messy. Um, this is an Evo 8 ECU that was in the car uh, down here. So Evo 8 ECU, um, here's the bulkhead. A lot of the wires that need to be swapped are swapped and the ones that aren't needed are cut off. Um, looking up online, a lot of these are properly swapped. However, I noticed a couple that are interesting. So these are both grounds. So I'm not sure why they did this um, fully yet. Um, it didn't really seem like it was needed. And then this is the flash wire. They labeled them, which is nice, coming into this kind of blind. Um, but I noticed this, which made me a little uneasy. So this loose wire here was tied around this cut insulator wire. Um, and then it was <clears throat> electrical tape around them both. So this wire is for the map labeled map. I have zero clue. I haven't fully looked into it too deep. Um, I'm sure I can figure it out, but I have no clue what this wire is. It goes up. It's this wire right here. Um, no idea what this is or why it's on this sensor because it didn't really, my research online didn't really seem like it was needed, but again, haven't looked into it at all, so I'm not fully sure. Um, and one thing I realized the last couple days was that you can plug in the Evo 5 or 6 ECU to the Evo 4 and it's pretty much a plug and play minus you'll need to swap um, the flash wire um, at some point. So I had a swear <coughs> Evo 4 ECU and Evo 5 ECU. So this is the Evo 5 ECU, plugged it in. I have no idea what all of these wires are for. There's like a handful of them. No idea what this is for. Anyone have ideas, comment below. Um, this is the Evo 5 ECU, and pretty much the problem is taken care of, which I will show you. So, go around to the driver's side. Um, I'll show you, so the map is plugged in, the vacuum is plugged in, which if you saw my last video was the issue when it was plugged in, uh, the idle would drop and the car would not idle, it wouldn't run, it would just shut off. So that's plugged in, just to show you that the problem is fixed. Go in here, start it. So it starts up. I know the uh, starter is going bad. That's what that noise was. Um, it does have a check engine light now, which it didn't before. <clears throat> I tried hooking up a scan tool, but it's not communicating with the car, which I assume <clears throat> It's not reading from something with the new Evo 5 ECU, so I might need to do a, another wire swap on that, but I haven't, again, looked fully into it. So check engine lights on, not sure what for. Um, the only other thing is the air-fuel ratio drops when I have it running. Um, it dropped to about 11 earlier and then started coming back up. Um, so I'm not going to leave it running too long because I don't want it to run lean for that long, but it is running fine now with this not fine, but it is running with the Evo 5 ECU attached. So just a few more kinks to hopefully work out. And then this thing will be hopefully good to go.